Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our daily devotional for this Thursday. I just want to share a little bit with you about what I've been reading. And um, I want to uh, read you a scripture from uh, Philippians 3 and verse 10. Philippians 3.10 says this, I want to know Christ, yes, to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, and so somehow attaining to the resurrection from the dead. Now, I'm just reading along, you know, as I always do, just kind of reading along, and uh, I'm enjoying my day, I'm enjoying my time in the Word, and, and I read, I want to know Christ. I'm like, yes, sir, Paul, I'm right with you. I'm right with you. What else you got for me? Uh, yes, to know the power of his resurrection. Amen. I want to know the power of his resurrection too. So I'm with you, Paul. I'm with you. Keep it coming. And then Paul says, and participate in his sufferings. And I'm like, time out. <laughs> uh, you lost me. Uh, if Paul would have said he wanted to know Christ's sufferings, I may have been with him, but, but to participate in Christ's sufferings? Man, that... That's tough because didn't they nail Christ to a cross? So I kind of wanted to dig a little deeper into this one and see what Paul was really saying. So when when they nailed Christ to the cross, uh, what happened was that Christ set aside any hopes or any dreams that he might have had. And he concluded that what would make him the happiest was to follow the will of the Father no matter what. Now God calls us to do the same thing. Now for most of us, that, that doesn't mean that we will lose our physical life, that we will be killed. Uh, yes, there are missionaries all over the world. There are people in, in other countries. There are martyrs, but for the most part, that's not what that means. Um, <clears throat> but it means to set ourselves, set ourselves, I'm sorry, aside for God. So that's what I believe what Paul meant when he said to participate in Christ's sufferings. So no matter how bad it hurts, no matter what it costs, we are to do the same thing. It won't always mean nails for us. Maybe the suffering will be putting someone else ahead of ourself uh, to be able to do something for somebody else instead of what we wanted to do. Maybe it'll mean laying our dreams aside for the sake of what God wants us to do and for the sake of the gospel. But whatever it is, let me ask you this question. Shouldn't we be willing to do it? Just think about what Christ has done for us. And so, yes, Paul, I'm with you. I want to participate in his sufferings. That's a hard statement to make. Are you with me this morning? Amen.